Good morning and welcome back everybody to another episode. Today, uh, I just got up. Woke up like, I don't know, like 10-15 minutes ago and got ready. Um, we're going out fishing this morning. Uh, we're going to a lake nearby. It's about, I don't know, 25 minutes nearby. Um, I was reading some fishing reports on it last night and I guess it's doing really, really well. Uh, so we're going to go check that out, see if we can't get on some good old largemouth and I guess there's some pretty good smallmouth out there so we're going to try for some smallies today. Um, got the boat all rigged up and ready to go. All I have to do now is add a little bit of oil to the old two-stroke motor because it uh, needs a little bit of oil in there. So like I said guys, we're all rigged up and we're going to head out and uh, see if we can't get on some get on some bass so stay tuned. All right guys, so we made it to the landing here and uh, yes, yeah, so a way better landing than what we had yesterday. There is a ton of boats stacked up here, so we are gonna get in the water here. Um, it is a Saturday, so that's probably why there's just a bunch of people out here, but this lake is really good. Well, I guess there's some really good smallmouth out here and uh, good bass out here. So we're gonna get out here and uh, start maybe on these weed edges. I don't know, something, something. It's a huge lake, over 3,000 acres, so pretty big lake. Uh, I'm just gonna get the boat in the water and uh, Start getting some good old bass in the boat, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so we are out on the water here and I thought it would be a good idea to maybe go ahead and show you guys um, on the electronics what I'm looking for because we have never been to this lake before. We have never been here before. Um, so I kind of want to show you guys how I break down a lake here. Now um, I've shown you guys before how I break down a river system, but a lake is a little bit different in a sense. I actually think it's a little bit easier to break down a lake. Um, but we have, you know, we have quite the, the pressure drop coming in um, because we're getting a lot of lot of cold water, cold weather really pushing in from all these fronts. So the fishing's, I don't know, it's going to be hit or miss. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to show you guys. We've kind of done some zooming around already and checked some areas and spots. But I figured before we start fishing, it'd be a good idea to show you guys what I'm looking for on my electronics, on my contour maps, and uh, kind of the, how I go about starting the day. As you guys can see here, we got the contour map up. Now this lake, it's a, a bigger lake. It's like 3,000 some odd acres, and it goes all the way up. Like it goes way up here, and then there's even, uh, opens up into a section all the way up there. So we got a lot of water to deal with. But I know that we're in the fall time, that kind of summer to fall transition pretty much, and up here, up north especially, the water temps are pretty down. Right now, it's obviously um, when you're fishing a new lake, um, points are gonna be really good. So we have like this big point here that comes out. We have some points here off of these islands. Uh, points are always a great way to start. Um, you can really check a lot of things with points. Um, we did check out this point here. Someone was actually fishing it at the time. There's actually like a tournament going on here today. Um, and then also what I'm looking for is you can see all the track marks I have in here. Well, this is because we were idling around in here looking, um, but this is really good right in here it looks like. And the reason being is we have a good point coming off of here. But we have really good vegetation, green vegetation yet that hasn't died off. Also, we're in that uh, you know summer to fall transition where those fish are going to start to push, uh, you know, bait up shallow and start chasing them. So this is going to be a really good pocket here um, that I really noticed. And then right now we're kind of power pulled down in this area right here, and this is a good point as well. This is all underwater right here, underwater point. Um, this is we check that that looks good. It's got good vegetation. Um, so that should be good as well. But these good points with these like little pockets um, are going to start to hold bait and hold fish. Zoom in on this spot right here, guys, because this lake is also known for smallmouth as well. But as you can see, another thing I like about this point here is that it really comes off and it really drops off. And then we have this good hole right here. Uh, so smallmouth are definitely going to be holding on there, um, if not pushing up a little shallower to start feeding up a little bit more. Really how I'm breaking this down, guys, is I'm just looking at this lake, looking for main lake points, which is pretty, you know, standard when you're fishing a newer river. 
or a newer lake or a lake that you've never fished before. Um, but I know that, like I said before, it's that summer to fall transition. So I know that these fish are going to be pushing uh, bait, you know, back into these pockets and stuff like that. So these bays. Um, so you're going to want to look for those as well. We did zoom over to this side. There's also another pocket here um, that we wanted to check out. And you guys can see right here, look at that as well. It's a nice little like flat bay back there. Um, looks like it's got good vegetation. Um, that's another thing that we're looking for guys here is vegetation on these spots if it's dead if it's good and green you definitely want to find green vegetation if you can okay, so now we're gonna pick up the rods start fishing here and uh, see if we can't get on some fish guys so we made it to the first spot we're just gonna kind of fish in this point here and uh, you know um, see what happens I'm gonna start out actually throwing a, a spinner bait believe it or not Jesus. Yep. First one of the day. First one for me. Little guy. Just a little guy. Need bigger than that though. Another little guy. There we go. Another little guy. There's got to be some bigger ones in here. I might switch over to the old... Uh, switch over to the swim jig a little bit here. Cover a little bit more water faster for some bigger ones. They're hitting it pretty good. Kind of more off of the bank. This way. There's one. <laughs> yeah, a little bit better. Yeah. A little bit better guy there. Not crazy huge, but. A little better in size than the other two, so there we go. Just got in there. Yeah, now that I got the bug bait. It's a better fish, yeah. Could be a pike, who knows. Oh, good bass. Oh, good bass. There we go. That's a good one right there. Oh, look at that sucker, that's a three. Good three. Real good three. There we go. It's a good three right there. Yeah, I was just, because that weed line runs through here. And I mean, I think they're pulled off all in here right now. School and bait. That's a good fish right there. We'll put them in the live well for pictures. Give a little spot change. Somewhere where. Just happens to be good. Oh, you're oh, he's nipping it, dude. He's nipping the hell out of it. it must be a smaller one. He just went boom, 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 boom. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We'll talk to you guys on the big camera, talk about, you know, what was going on, where we caught some, and uh, what was happening. So 
So there you guys seen it. That was uh, kind of the last thing we did there. Um, unfortunately, we did not get on as you know, good of a bite as we thought we were going to. Um, we did catch fish and we had quite a few missed opportunities. I missed quite a few fish there. But um, yeah, yeah, the water temp is definitely uh, down. I think it was like, it's high noon, like right now. Like it's noon, noon at 12, 12, or like 12 or 12.30. Should be as hot as it's gonna get today. And the water temp is only 66 degrees right now. So it's pretty cold up here. Um, unfortunately, I, th I feel like if the sun was to come out, we, we would definitely be on them a little better. Um, like I said, we had some big pressure fronts push in here. Um, you know, cold fronts pushing in that are really messing with the pressure drop with the fish. Um, but we did, we did catch one good one. We did catch one good, like three pounder. So, uh, we'll show releasing that guy really quick and then we'll wrap up this video. All right guys. So, uh, we were going to keep our best five fish. Um, we probably could have kept one other one earlier today, but, uh, he, I don't know, he was smaller anyway. Um, I thought we were going to get on a better bite than what we did. We started off hot. We were getting bites like crazy. Um, and then unfortunately it just kind of, it really turned off. Like I said, it, the water is definitely cooling off here and, um, you know, we've never been here before, but we were able to get on a bite. We did keep this guy here and I'll show you guys him real quick. Not a bad fish at all. Uh, pretty good one. I mean, he's skinny, but if he was a little fatter, he'd be easy three, three and a half. Right now, he's probably like a two eight, but really good fish here. We'll throw this guy back here. There he goes. All right, so there he was. We just put him back and everything, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel at 5,000 subscribers, we're doing a rod and reel giveaway. So if you guys want to be entered, in that rod and reel giveaway all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode uh like i said remember like and subscribe and until next time keep fishing hard